Ontario Premier Doug Ford has failed, utterly and miserably, to refute the anti-lockdown case presented by Roman Babber, Ontario Member of Provincial Parliament for York Centre. Premier Ford kicked Mr. Babber out of the Progressive Conservative Caucus for publicly advocating for an end to lockdowns. In a January 15, 2021, open letter to Premier Ford, Mr. Babber states that, quote, The medicine is killing the patient. I plead for the millions of lives and livelihoods ruined by Ontario's public health restrictions. The lockdown isn't working. It's causing an avalanche of suicides, overdoses, bankruptcies, divorces, and takes an immense toll on our children. Dozens of leading doctors implored you to end the lockdowns. The lockdowns are objectively deadlier than COVID. COVID is real, but the fear of COVID is exaggerated." End of quote. Instead of debating Mr. Babber, Premier Ford kicked him out of caucus. A bad move, because the less public debate there is on an issue, the more likely that name-calling and personal attacks will replace intelligent, well-informed argument. Mr. Babber points out that cancer screenings at Princess Margaret are severely backlogged, with oncologists fearing a tsunami of cancer. Premier Ford does not dispute this point. Mr. Babber points out that Ontario's overdose rate is trending at 50% above normal, killing more people than COVID is killing outside of long-term care homes. Premier Ford's response is that opioid deaths are up by 38%, not 50%, as if a 38% increase is okay, but a 50% increase is not okay. Mr. Babber points out that 10% of adults have reported recent thoughts and feelings of suicide, four times the normal rate, Premier Ford does not refute this point. Mr. Babber points out that tens of thousands of businesses have shut down, that unemployment is near double, that 320,000 people in Ontario alone have not regained work, and that we're facing catastrophic bankruptcies and foreclosures. Premier Ford does not deny any of this. Mr. Babber states that, quote, the lockdown is having catastrophic effects on Ontario's children. We are scaring children even though they are 100% safe. This generation of kids will grow up with anxiety disorder and will be afraid of normal life. Kids need to be kids again, back in school with their friends. They should not believe that coming close to another child may result in someone's death. It's false and unwarranted." End of quote. Premier Ford does not deny that children are being harmed by lockdowns and says nothing on the topic. Instead of addressing the issues, the Ontario government circulated a four-page fact sheet only to media without posting this document on a website for the public to see. To support the lockdowns and to promote the government's view, media are also withholding this document from the public, which is why the Justice Centre has posted this fact sheet at www.jccf.ca. Premier Ford's defence of lockdowns has no merit. I can only hope that government lawyers across Canada present this kind of inadequate case in the Justice Center's court actions to end the lockdowns. I'm John Carpe. Thanks for listening.